Hello everyone. And uh, here we go again. I got back this Sony TCK777. We've been working early this year. I've been working technically. So what happens, you may see that uh, indicator behaves strange and I'm just checking up. So no sound output. So headphones connected. So we are on tape and no any sound comes out of this deck so what i will be doing i will open the cover and i will check uh, transistors and uh, like everything on the signal pass to make sure that uh, everything is fine there so far i believe something happened something burned so we will be looking into it together stay tuned see you okay guys uh what i'm checking i'm checking the playback amplifier and i'm checking the two voltages minus nine volt we should be on resistors 118 113 112 and plus nine volts which should be on 110 115 okay and here what i'm getting sorry just power supply jump off the place give me a moment please here we go what i observe that we lost uh, negative voltage so here is uh, 118 and we have 0 0.6 volt versus minus 9 and here we have a positive 10 volts so positive voltage is in there negative voltage just dead okay let me see uh fuses let me see capacitors and everything on this negative side here and i will get back to you what happened so next step i'm checking that voltage is in there so here is a plus 17 volts and here is the minus 17 volts so that's our power supply it's here minus 17 and plus 17 and there are just one fuse on top you see on the positive line so we need to check what's happened with this negative power supply one of the transistors is dead so that's what i will be checking see you soon okay hello everyone here i'm testing cube 508 <coughs> excuse me which i desoldered it from the board and this looks to be fine really it's it's a power supply transistor right here <coughs> excuse me so we not getting a lot we don't get in any voltage here so this transistor can start to work so probably q507 problems and let me pull it out and check together that's interesting but you may see that the second q507 here uh, it shows fine as well so at this moment i'm quite not sure why it's doing so because like uh, we need to have both these transistors to open to get voltage so this transistor can open and start adjusting okay let me see what else i can find and here guys i'm measuring voltage on the output of the stabilizer and as you may see it jumps negative first and then goes positive or this time it's immediately goes positive so transistors don't open and there are not many parts left to check so we have this uh, our this like schottky diet which has to keep five volts here and then we have this transistor to be open right to stabilize but we don't have negative voltage here so this transistor cannot open 
uh, we have minus 17 volts here on these lines so technically minus 17 will not get this transistor open it should be higher voltage so it can open minus 17 is the same as here on his emitter so there is no difference and this transistor would not open and would not start feeding voltage here in current so i'm quite lost or so not too many parts but for some reason uh, these transistors don't open and to make them open we need to have a lower voltage here higher technically because it's negative so we need minus 11 and we have minus 17 here okay let me think more about it and uh, here guys i'm checking q509 and it's appeared to be good as well npn good results and it's q509 here i'm not sure what else if uh, q506 will be dead then you would not have negative voltage on the basis of the q507 uh, q510 left that's it see you soon and here we finally go so you see this transistor looks to be short it, it shows additional diode between collector and emitter i'm not sure why so let me see what i can do and here we go guys you see minus nine and a half volts so i replaced the main transistor q508 the lower one on this diagram so it's appeared to be short and you see it's normalized let's see yeah it's place yeah. fix it finally it took about one and a half hours for me to investigate i had to because like i i started from this transistor but it did show fine initially when i tested it i'm not sure what happened so now i'm installed it's three ampere it was one ampere i had just three amperes resistors so it should work even longer all right thanks for your time see you in my next parts and here guys we playing everything is fine you can adjust volume now let's see if it will calibrate let's get normal tape switching to the level mode type one there bias wow that's photo bias okay i need to check here we go the even but we can get much more high frequencies okay let me check something changed it uh -huh. even bias levels of okay i uh, looks like i would need to check tuning again because you see it's a little bit off and i don't like the positions of the pots so let me do this and i get back to you okay guys i'm not sure what was the reason but uh, i had to adjust bias significantly to make it flat because it was given like plus 10 decibel on the high frequencies now source tape we recording really really well no problems anymore so probably this uh, power supply was uh, a reason of the bad high frequencies i'm not quite sure so i have to retune all, everything over again so let me finish and i will show you results
Okay, guys, I'm finished uh, tuning. So the only difference was in the bias. I'm not sure, maybe someone messed up. Uh, I need to ask owner, but no difference currently. Source, tape, everything is very good. No any other problems. Uh, also, you see calibration, so here is the bias, here is the levels. Pretty precise, no problems at all. And I didn't touch calibration since last tuning. Only only adjusted bias and record levels. That's it. And now it records really really well. Okay, I hope that's it. I will close it and ship it back. Thanks for your attention.